across the valley, plenty of sunshine today. Hopefully you've been outside for a while. It's been a good looking day out there. Sunshine and warm temperatures after a nice cool start to the day. We may see a little bit of patchy fog late tonight, but I think we'll start to see the wind increase a little bit more Wednesday, maybe more so Thursday as a cold front rolls through. Not a big, big cold front, but it should help kind of to drop the nighttime temperatures back down again and keep us nice and cool during the day. So we have cold fronts, technically two of them, one on Thursday, one on Friday. Neither one looks like it will produce any rain, but kind of just keep the cool air in place uh, for a couple of days as we get toward the weekend coming up. But there are some uh, some, some slight warming trends the next couple of days here coming. 75 in Westlaco right now, 74 in Brownsville, 68 near the coast in Port Isabel, 79 in Rio Grande City. And the wind flow, very light or calm this morning. It's kind of turning more toward the east right now. It'll be kind of very light from the east, southeast this evening and tonight. So we may see a little fog tonight. The tricky part is whether we can get um, the patchy fog in here because we have moisture coming back in from the Gulf, but a very light flow. So we can get that little bit of Gulf moisture in the air near the ground and come in and then we drop temperatures through the 50s tonight. You might get some patchy fog and spots as we get towards sunrise tomorrow. So may not be widespread fog, but if you live in one of those places where, you know, it normally gets kind of foggy on clear, calm, cool nights, you might see some fog and spots briefly tomorrow morning. Now 50 degrees is the low expected tonight in Harlingen, about 49 in Westlaco, 52 in Brownsville. So still a somewhat cool night out there. Most of the evening though, once the sun goes down, we'll start off in the 60s and fall into the 50s late this evening before midnight. Satellite radar shows a whole lot of nothing going on out there. A couple, occasionally a couple of high clouds are zipping by and you might see some smoke in the air from the sugar cane burns earlier today, but mainly it's a nice blue sky out there this evening. Now future track does show sunshine around as we go through this evening and tonight, looking for some patchy fog late tonight, otherwise a clear night and with very light or calm winds. Tomorrow's a day when we should start off with sunshine. It might get a little breezy during the afternoon hours. I don't think it's going to be a super windy day, but wind speeds may be 15 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts and uh, still a lot of sunshine you notice for tomorrow. Thursday, a front comes in, but you notice just mainly clouds along the front. Future track tries to show a couple sprinkles out in the Gulf, but I think this front comes through with just some patchy clouds in the morning and then the sun quickly breaks out. Thursday, though, could be a little bit windy. Some of the models showing some very gusty winds as the front passes during the daytime. So I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe the winds peak at gusts around 30, 35, maybe briefly 40 miles per hour. Yes, a little windy when the front passes potentially on Thursday, but still some sunshine and temperatures probably holding in the 70s for highs again. Uh, Friday, though, behind the front, clear and uh, maybe a little bit cooler with that drier in place, but still a lot of sunshine around for Friday. And the weekend looks mainly sunny as well. Getting back to the winds, too, you notice the wind flow again tonight, kind of from the southeast, very light, but maybe just light enough to give us a little bit of fog as the moisture comes in. You notice the colors increase a bit tomorrow. We're not looking for windy, windy weather, but you see how the colors kind of get up in this uh, 15, 20 mile per hour range here, maybe a little bit stronger offshore. So again, a little more of a breeze tomorrow, but still a fairly sunny day coming up. There could be some changes early next week. We'll be tracking if you want to tune in down the road. You notice the first one five seven day forecast is primarily sunny the first five days. We're looking for warm, slightly warmer temperatures tomorrow. Highs near 79 on Wednesday and Thursday will probably break 80 in some areas, especially Star County, Western Hidalgo County could break 80. Friday behind that second cold front, we cool off a bit with highs around 68 degrees and still could be a bit windy on Friday and the weekend looks sunny too. Chilly in the morning, nice in the afternoon. Next week though, another front that may be the one that really shakes things up. We may start to see more clouds, rainy and colder weather begin to pour in here by about Tuesday. So we'll continue to track that for you in your first one five forecast here coming up.